What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a complete overview of the Barbarian class in Diablo 4. Let's get into it. The Barbarian is a class staple inside of Diablo. It has been around since the beginning in the entire series and it's back in Diablo 4. The Barbarian is a physical attacker. It's a melee and close quarters combat user, which means you're gonna be up close and personal, dealing massive amounts of damage with a wide arsenal of weapons to access to for your class. Let's take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of the Barbarian class. So for the strengths, the Barbarian has always done a crap ton of damage and the core skills that are gonna be in Diablo 4 help with supporting how much damage you're gonna be doing. Berserking is a, an ability that the Barbarian is the only one that it can do, which is amazing. It gives them increased damage and movement speed, which is just awesome if you're a speedy character and you just want to get around and up close and personal. You have quick movement abilities inside this game, which allows your base movement to speed through like walls, large mobs, move unhindered, anything like that. It can DPS at range or while moving with skills like Whirlwind or Call of the Ancients. And it has many other DPS abilities that you can use to support this. And then it's very tanky. That's probably the biggest thing with the class guys is that abilities like challenging shout which fortify you and your teammates to just have the best survivability when it comes to playing this game is just so good the barbarian can take so much damage before it dies it's just a very very tanky class now let's look at weaknesses the, the barbarian class has always been fury dependent besides your most basic skills everything requires fury and it expends it very very quickly so you need to make sure that you have stuff and abilities that regenerate that fury the, the class always suffers from long cooldowns, guys. The, it always has. The skills that do so much impact in combat require a lot of cooldown, so make sure you have a lot of cooldown reduction. Close combat has always been... I don't want to say it's a full weakness, but you're always up close and personal, so it can be hard to dodge large mobs, you know, big attacks from, you know, the elites and bosses, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. And then you're always alone, meaning you don't have minions, you don't have pets, you don't have anything that can help you kind of strategically navigate large mobs and just kind of create a lot of separation, so it's always just been the Barbarian. And last is that it's always a slow early game buildup. It normally takes a long time before you can start getting things going with the Barbarian. But once you do, you hit the ground running and just destroy every single map. So let's take a look at the skills that the Barbarian has. There's six total skill groups in Diablo 4 for the Barbarian class. And we're gonna go over each one individually, but it's basic, core, defensive, brawling, weapon master and ultimate these are six different skill categories so let's go over each one. First is basic skills guys for the barbarian basic skills are the weakest out of all six categories and you're going to be using those to generate fury and apply debuffs like vulnerable and flay when you run out of resources basic skills are the best way to regenerate fury and regenerate those resources otherwise the basic skills are going to be only used for killing off small enemies or adds and then using it as additional damage against elites or bosses while you're building up that fury to use bigger and stronger skills next is core skills guys and this is where we start to get a little interesting core skills are the primary damage dealers for barbarians they spend a lot of fury but you're going to be able to do a lot more damage and hit more targets than you can with basic skills you can hit multiple enemies and apply legendary effects that you're going to have on your weapons and in skills for the barbarian you got stuff like rend which is a core ability it costs 35 fury you're going to be having a lucky hit chance of 33 percent it requires a slashing weapon but you're going to be dealing an insane amount of damage and cleave every enemy in front of you this is similar to what we're used to in the past guys but skills like this are going to help you do massive amounts of damage especially early in. defensive skills are a little slightly different guys defensive skills significantly boost your defensive capabilities many of them allow you to control enemies and increase your thorns damage not that we use thorns too much but you're going to be able to deal a lot of damage stuff like rallying cry it's a defensive shout which gives you and your allies increased movement and increased resource generation for six seconds stuff like this is really good to apply to your entire party which is amazing the defensive skills in the game help you boost everything that you're going to do in combat for Diablo 4. Now, brawling skills are unique abilities inside the Barbarian class, which are a little bit different than other skills that we've seen in the past. They're going to be used to either enhance your offensive or defensive capabilities inside of Diablo 4 for the Barbarian class, okay? There's not too much that's kind of different. We've seen skills like this in the past, like Warcry. It's a brawling shout, which you and allies get 15% increased damage for eight 
48 seconds and it just kind of you're picking and choosing kind of the additional skills that you want to enhance whatever play style that you're playing in diablo 4 for the barbarian let's take a look at weapon mastery skills for the barbarian these are skills that allow you to do incredible amounts of damage but they require a cooldown unlike core skills for the barbarian where they're more spammable they use fury but they don't have a cooldown these require a massive cooldown to use skills like rupture that's a weapon mastery skill that has a 15 second cooldown which is very long in diablo but it skewers every enemy in front of you dealing 40 percent increased damage and damaging uh enemies based on their total bleeding amount and then removes the bleeding damage from them to do massive amounts of damage all of these skills can be upgraded as well so these are just big time abilities that require cooldown, but they do big time damage for the Barbarian. Ultimate skills is the last category, guys, and these are our bread and butter abilities in Diablo 4 for each class. Ultimates are high impact abilities with a long cooldown, and it just seems like Diablo 4 just requires a lot of cooldown reduction for these skills. But when you have skills like Wrath of the Berserker, which give you an unstoppable berserking ability, over a certain amount of seconds and then you can upgrade each one and deal a lot a lot of damage it's just these ultimate abilities are going to be what helps you take down rift guardians end game guardians anything that helps you just deal massive amounts of damage to get through these mobs of monsters ultimate skills is where it's going to be the last thing i want to go over guys is the arsenal system we're going to go briefly over this and then we're going to do a whole nother video because it's very in-depth but i'm going to give you the brief explanation of what the arsenal system is so it's a unique barbarian class mechanic that's coming in diablo 4. it's going to allow you to assign specific equipped weapons for every attack skill that you're using which grants you additional bonuses for example, if you have a one-handed axe at a rank 10 power, you're gonna get plus 5% increased critical strike chance against injured enemies and double this when using two axes. So you get to use these abilities for each weapon archetype inside of Diablo 4 for the Barbarian. So it's an in-depth thing. We're gonna do it in a different video, but that's the brief overview of the arsenal system it's going to be a lot it's going to require a whole nother video that's going to do it guys for today's barbarian class overview the barbarian has been a staple of diablo since the beginning and i think it's a class that we can all love and appreciate especially if you're a close quarters combat user and you like to be up close and personal and just drive down massive amounts of damage so let me know down in the comments guys what do you think about the barbarian class coming in diablo 4 make sure to like a video guys it really does help push out the algorithm for me and as always stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.